Wednesday. Today we're going to be making our arts and crafts activity for the week. So hopefully yesterday you or a family member came down and got your activity kits and they should have picked up a bag that you can use to make friendship bracelets. So you can make a bracelet or a necklace or a keychain, basically anything you want for yourself or you can make something to give to a friend or a family member. All that matters is that you're being creative and having fun making it. Everything that you need to make your friendship bracelet is here in this bag. The only other thing that you'll need is a pair of scissors, which should be in your supply kit. And you might need the help of someone in your house when you're done with your bracelet to help tie it at the end. Other than that, everything you need is right here. First step when you open up your bag is to pull out your elastic. You can notice that it's kind of stretchy, which is gonna make your bracelet fit really well and it's gonna stretch around your wrist. So I think I'm gonna make a bracelet for my friend. So I'm thinking about the size of her wrist, which is about the same size as mine. So I'm gonna measure it. And when I'm measuring my bracelet, I wanna make sure that I'm leaving a little extra room because I'm gonna to have to tie a knot to close it and I don't want my beads to fall off. So I don't wanna measure it to here. I wanna give myself a little room. That way I can tie my bracelet at the end. Next, I'll take my scissors and I'll cut it to the place where I measured it. And look, I just cut this for my bracelet, but I still have a lot of leftover elastic. So if I wanna make something later, I have some elastic that I can use for it, which is nice. This next part is probably the trickiest part of the whole process. You're gonna to wanna to tie a knot at the end of your bracelet. And this is gonna make it so your beads don't fall off. And you might have to tie it a few times. So now that I have my knot securely tied, the first bead that I put on my bracelet is gonna be a thin and skinny bead because that will help keep all the other beads from not slipping past the knot. So now is the fun part. I get to pick out the kind of beads that I think my friend would like. So in my bag, I have a lot of different things to choose from. I have some beads that are just different colors like this. The bag I got has a smiley face, an elephant, and some words. This one says happy. So I'm looking at all my beads and I'm trying to decide what my friend would like. And her favorite color is purple. So I think I'm gonna start by only using purple beads. Try to hurt me with the word goodbye though it took some time to survive you. I'm better on the other side. I'm all good already, so moved on this I think I'm gonna use one of my word beads. This one says happy. And I think that describes my friend. So I'm gonna put it on my elastic. And because I'm out of purple beads, I'm just gonna do a rainbow of colors to finish my bracelet. Crazy, thinking about the way I was. Did the heartbreak change me? So as you can tell, I kind of kept my colors the same, but other things you can do with your bracelet is make patterns with colors, or make patterns with different types of shapes, or you could only put a few beads on your elastic, or you could fill your entire elastic and make a necklace. There's a lot of different things you can do. But I think this bracelet is perfect for my friend, so I'm gonna stop for now. And I'm gonna test the size. Since our wrists are about the same size, I think this will fit her. And now I'm gonna ask a friend or a family member to help me tie my bracelet. That way I can take it off and then give it to her. But look at where I ended up. I'm all good already, so moved on, it's scary. So this is my bracelet. If I wanted to, I could have a friend or family member snip off these extra pieces of elastic, but I don't really mind them. I can still take my bracelet off easily. And look, I still have elastic left over. 
and I have beads. So if I wanted to make something else, I could too. But for now, I'm gonna take off my bracelet and I'm gonna give it to my friend. Remember to post a picture or a video of your bracelet in Seesaw. That way everyone else can see the beautiful work that you've done. Bye.